Hi guys, this is Sheetal and welcome back to Target Study YouTube channel. We all have dreamt of a bright future, like I'll be an engineer, a doctor, an architect, a defense services officer, or fashion designer, etc. But there are some of us who want to start a professional career as early as it can be. I'm going to talk about today. Without wasting much time in guesses and clues, let us come to the point directly. So my dear friends, I'm going to tell you about one of the widely taken exam of Staff Selection Commission and that exam is Staff Selection Commission Combined Higher Secondary Level Exam. In this video, I will be briefing you about every aspect of SSC CHSL exam. Like what is SSC CHSL exam? What is the eligibility to take CHSL exam? What is the syllabus of SSC CHSL exam? What is the pattern of SSC CHSL exam? How to apply for SSC CHSL exam? Which are the main test centers for SSC CHSL exam? And what is the registration fee for SSC CHSL exam? So keep watching this video till the very end. Let us start with the very basic question that is, what exactly SSC CHSL exam is? Staff Selection Commission Combined Higher Secondary Level Exam, better known as SSC CHSL exam, is conducted by SSC usually once in a year in the month of April or May on the national level to recruit required number of candidates for filling up various posts like data entry operator, postal assistant and sorting assistant, lower division clerk and court clerk in various departments in the central government. Due to its national level approach, this test is taken by large number of aspirants who want to join these organizations on a priority basis. Now you would like to know the eligibility conditions to take SSC CHSL exam. To take SSC CHSL exam, one should have done 12th class or equivalent in any discipline from a recognized board. A candidate who has appeared in the final examination of the qualifying exam and is awaiting for the result is also eligible to take the exam subject to fulfilling the other eligibility conditions. As far as age limits are concerned, the aspiring candidate should be between the age group of 18 years to 32 years for various posts mentioned above. Due relaxation in upper age limit is provided to various reserved category candidates as per central government rules and regulations. Besides this, the aspiring candidate should be a citizen of India or a subject of Nepal or a subject of Bhutan a Tibetan refugee who came over to India before 1st January 1962 with the intention of permanently settling in India or a person of Indian origin who has migrated from Pakistan, Burma, Sri Lanka, East Africa, countries of Kenya, Uganda, the United Republic of Tanzania, Zambia, Malawi, Zaira, Ethiopia and Vietnam with the intention of permanently setting in India. For preparing any entrance exam, one must be well aware of the detailed syllabus of the exam. So, SSE CHSL syllabus consists of subjects like General Intelligence, English Language, Numerical Aptitude and General Awareness. In General Intelligence section, you will get questions from Semantic Analogy, Symbolic or Number Analogy, Figural analogy, semantic classification, symbolic or number classification, figural classification, semantic series, number series, figural series, problem solving, word building, coding and decoding, numerical operations, symbolic operations, trends, space orientation, Venn diagrams, drawing inferences, punched or whole pattern folding and unfolding, figural pattern, folding and complexion, indexing, address matching, data and city matching, classification of center codes or roll numbers, small and capital letters or number coding, decoding and classification, embedded figures, critical thinking, emotional intelligence and social intelligence etc. Whereas English language consists of questions from spot the error, fill in the blanks, synonyms, antonyms, spellings, detecting misspelt words, idioms and phrases, one word substitution, improvement of sentences, active or passive voice of verbs, 
conversion into direct or indirect narration, shuffling of sentence parts, shuffling of sentences in a passage, close passage and comprehension passage etc. And numerical aptitude section consists of questions from number systems, computation of whole number, decimal and fractions, relationship between numbers, fundamental arithmetical operations, percentages, ratio and proportion, square roots, averages, simple and compound interest, profit and loss, discount, partnership business, mixture and allegation, time and distance, time and work, basic algebraic identities of school algebra, elementary certs, graphs of linear equations, familiarity with elementary geometric figures and facts, triangle and its various kinds of centers, congruence and similarity of triangles, circle and its chords, tangents, angles subtended by chords of a circle, common tangents to two or more circles, triangles, quadrilaterals, regular polygons, sum of the internal angles of a polygon, circle, right prism, right circular cone, right circular cylinder, sphere, hemispheres, rectangular parallel piped, regular right pyramid with triangular or square base, trigonometry, trigonometric ratios, degree and radian measures, standard identities, complementary angles, heights and distances, use of table and graphs, histogram, frequency polygon, bar diagram and pie chart and general awareness section will have questions designed to test the ability of candidates general awareness of the environment around him and its application to society. Questions are also designed to test knowledge of current events and of such matters of everyday observation and experience in their scientific aspect as may be expected of an educated person. The test will also include questions relating to India and its neighboring countries especially pertaining to history, culture, geography, economic scene, general policy and scientific research. Here I would like to tell you that for VH candidates of 40% and above visual disability and opting for scribes, there will be no component of maps, graphs, diagram or statistical data in the general intelligence and reasoning or general awareness paper. The question will be of the level to commensurate with educational qualification prescribed for the posts. Knowledge of pattern of an exam is as important as knowledge of syllabus of that exam. So here is the pattern of SSC CHSL exam. SSC CHSL examination will consist of three tiers. Tier 1 will be computer based examination having objective multiple choice type of questions. Tier 2 will be of descriptive paper and Tier 3 will be a typing test or skill test. Tier 1 will consist of a total of 100 questions of 200 marks, 25 questions from each of the four sections that is General Intelligence, English Language, Numerical Aptitude and General Awareness to be completed in 60 minutes by general candidates and 80 minutes by VH or OH afflicted by cerebral palsy and OH with deformity in writing hand. This tier 1 of the examination will consist of objective type, multiple choice questions only. The questions will be set both in English and Hindi for part 2, 3 and 4 and there will be negative marking of 0 0.50 marks for each wrong answer. Tier 2 is an offline pen paper based exam carrying a weightage of 100 marks with 1 hour duration. The choice will be there between English language and Hindi language. Candidates can write the paper in either English or Hindi language, as per their convenience. Only those candidates who qualify in the written part of the examination and secure minimum qualifying marks, as may be fixed by the commission in their discretion, will be eligible to take the Tier 3, that is, skill test of the examination. Candidates qualifying in the skill test at a speed of not less than 8000 key depressions per hour will be eligible for being recommended for appointment as per their position in the merit list. None of the candidates including PH candidates who qualify in the written part of the examination will be exempted from the skill test as passing the skill test is precondition and one of the essential qualification for appointment to the post of data entry operator. 
Here, I would like to tell you that only those candidates who secure at least the minimum qualifying marks in the written examination, as may be fixed by the Commission at their discretion, will be called for a skill test. Now you would like to know how to apply for SSC CHSL exam. To apply for SSC CHSL exam, you need to follow few steps. The first step is to visit the official website that is www.ssc.nic.in. Click the link and register yourself. Fill the required credentials in the SSC CHSL application form. A unique registration number and password will be generated to the given email ID and mobile number. Log in to fill the application form. Provide required details asked in the form like personal details, educational details and contact details. Upload the scanned copies of the required documents along with the photo and signature of the candidate. Make the payment through debit or credit card, net banking, mobile wallet or candidates can pay offline also with the help of bank chalan. Submit the form, download it and take print out for future reference. What is the registration fee for SSC CHSL exam? The registration fee for SSC CHSL exam is Rs 100 for general and OBC category candidates, whereas for SCST category candidates, there is no any fee. Which are the test centers for taking SSC CHSL exam? Being a national level examination, SSC CHSL exam is held almost in all the major cities of India. For a complete list of all the test centers, you can visit our website targetstudy.com. The link of that is given below in the description. That's all from this video guys. I hope you find this video informative. For more such videos, subscribe Target Study YouTube channel and to get regular notification, hit the bell icon. Do remember one thing, there is no higher religion than human service. Thank you for watching.